The very system of our body which was meant to help us survive is killing us today. I will explain why, but before that, do you agree if you eat more calories than you burn, you would gain weight? I don't. Here is why. Although accurate, the problem with such a simplistic understanding of why we are gaining weight is that it ignores the biological component of gaining weight and only focuses on the bad habits of eating. The author of the book, Nature Wants Us to Be Fed, through his extensive research on the science of weight gain, shares that through evolution, our bodies have developed a switch that controls the fat storage in our bodies. This switch was initially developed in our ancestors to help them survive during famine, but now it does the opposite by leading us to obesity. This switch is activated by several foods, but the most influential of all is fructose. Understanding this switch can help you learn how to control it and successfully lose weight. In this video, I will share with you what is fructose, how does the switch work, and how can you turn off that switch. But before that, very quickly, if like me, you are also curious to understand the science behind weight gain and keen to find solutions that are more sustainable in the long run, you are watching the right video. I am getting tired of controlling my diet, yet I am still seeing my belly fat getting thicker and thicker. I must be doing something wrong and there's gotta be a solution for this. With that goal, I've already read three amazing books on weight gain and obesity and already published the video summary of their key takeaways on this channel. You will find the link to these videos at the end of this video. You are watching the summary of the fourth book. Wait, it's not over yet. One more summary, my favorite of all, is coming next. The next video is the summary of a book that debunks 23 myths that we have been told about weight gain and weight loss which are not true. You don't want to miss that. Stay tuned. Feel free to subscribe if you want to be notified. Without further ado, let's understand this killer switch that keeps adding more layers of fat on us. Humans, like many animals, have a survival mechanism through which they convert energy from food in the form of fat. It works like a switch and is especially helpful when there is a food shortage. Nature created it to protect us from starvation, dehydration, suffocation and other threats to survival. This switch is triggered by fructose. Fructose is a kind of sugar similar to glucose and is found in fruits, starch, honey, fruit juices and dried fruit etc. Glucose and fructose have a significantly different effect on the body. While glucose is required by our brain to work efficiently and is used or stored as energy, on the other hand, fructose is converted into either glucose or fat and it does not have any key role in our body except turning on the survival switch. In other words, fructose is glucose plus fat. Furthermore, fructose is linked with many negative health outcomes like obesity, type 2 diabetes, and insulin resistance, etc. Let me clarify, it does not mean glucose is the good guy here. Excessive glucose is not good either. Now the question is, how does fructose turn on the switch? Here is the answer. When we eat fructose-rich food, our body can either use it as immediate energy or store it as fat for later. It also turns the switch on, which means it tells the body to turn on the survival mode. As a result, it reduces energy consumption in our body to store energy for later use, and hacks the sensation of fullness and encourages us to continue eating to store as much energy as we can. This is the reason why we remain hungry even after we eat and we tend to eat more than what is required. Automatically, due to fructose and the survival switch, the excess energy gets stored as fat. This is why polar bears hibernate during winter and migrating birds feed on fruit and nectar before winter. Their bodies can store energy as fat and which can later be used as energy needed to survive during hibernation and migration. These animals use up the excess energy, that is why they always come back to their normal weight. But that is unfortunately not true for us. We continuously have more food available than our need and the excess energy is always stored as fat. 
Additionally, when our bodies are in a highly stressful environment due to high glucose level, dehydration, low blood pressure, impaired blood supply, and low oxygen level, it starts automatically converting glucose to fructose, which activates the switch. The ability to produce fructose is a backup survival plan for our bodies when fructose-rich foods cannot be found. Other than fructose, this survival switch, or as I call it, the killer switch, is also triggered by food with high content of salt and dehydration. Salt doesn't have calories, yet it still causes weight gain by converting glucose into fructose through series of chemical reactions. The bottom line? If you don't want this killer switch to turn on, take less fructose, less salt and more water. Now that we have a thorough understanding of the biological aspect that drives obesity, we can take action to counter it. This is done by deeming the killer switch and we can do so by focusing on two key things. Firstly, the key component is our diets. Most weight loss diet programs are calorie restrictive. So naturally, they would result in weight loss, but they also slow down the metabolism, leading to gaining all the weight back once we stop following the diet program. Instead of following these calorie-restrictive diet programs, try following these 9 habits. Decrease sugar intake to 10% of daily calories and avoid all sugary drinks entirely. Cliché. I know, but believe me, sugar is the root cause of those thick layers of fat that make you hate yourself when you look at them. Number 2. Limit the salt intake to about 5-6 to six grams and avoid all the processed foods as they are often high in salt. Number 3. Have at least 8 ounces of water 6-8 to eight times a day. Number 4. Intermittently fast for 1 or 2 days a week. You can fast for 16 hours with an 8 hour eating window. Number 5. Avoid carbohydrates that raise blood sugar levels such as white and sweet potatoes, corn, white rice and breakfast cereals etc. and add more whole grains, vegetables and fiber rich foods. Number 6. Have fish, poultry, dairy, and vegetable proteins instead of high umami proteins such as red meat, organ meat, and shellfish. Number 7. Add omega-3 fat-rich diets such as olive oil, flaxseed, flaxseed oil, and leafy vegetables. Number 8. Having coffee or tea is recommended since it counters the survival switch. Daily vitamin C supplement of 500 mg or less would help block the switch, but take supplements that has no sugar in them. The second step is to counter the mechanism of your survival switch, which means burn more energy that are stored as fed by your survival switch. The best approach to counter attack is to exercise at least for 1 hour 3 to 4 days a week. If you don't usually exercise, don't feel bad with starting slow and small. The obesity epidemic since industrial evolution is on all-time high. A major reason for that is a fructose-powered survival switch or killer switch that is always turned on due to our modern diets causing us to eat more food than we need. Our reduced physical activity makes the situation even worse. Remember, we humans are more sensitive to fructose as a result of mutations in the past that helped us survive famine. Nature wants us to be fed as it is a means of survival. And unfortunately, the mechanism which was meant to protect us from starvation is doing more damage than good since all the ingredients that are needed to turn on the switch are readily available in all the foods and drinks that we consume on daily basis. The best way to lose weight is to understand the underlying mechanism and take appropriate actions to counter the effect of survival switch. And I hope this video helped you to learn that. If you want to learn more about the science behind weight loss, watch the summary of obesity code here and the summary of glucose evolution here. They are both very informative. You can also explore the whole playlist on weight loss here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like to support, share to spread the knowledge and comment to connect. See you in the next one. Much love and bye.